Hello again everyone, Rechief here, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. We're going into the Zaha Woods today. And uh, if, I'm, if this is the map that I am thinking of right now, could very well be the point where I first start making some mistakes and racking up some deaths. But hopefully not, we'll see. So yes, we got our bracelet back. We're heading on into Zaha. And yes, this is where we first start fighting some of the uh, monsters in this game as opposed to just the regular units. Monsters are generally going to be much weaker than uh, their, you know, human counterparts, especially in the early game. But uh, later on, and uh, definitely in... There are a couple of optional, like, dungeons in this game. One of them we're going to unlock pretty soon, the other one not till much later. Uh, and they're going to have some very powerful monsters in them. These guys shouldn't be too bad, though. Really, the biggest problem with dealing with monster units is that uh, there are a lot of them. So you have to be very careful where you walk, and you have to be very careful not to... Uh, underestimate them and overestimate your own abilities because uh, it's very easy to wind up dying to a horde of monsters because you thought you know you were going to be able to dodge a bunch of them or you thought that your defense was going to be make up for the fact that maybe you had half your HP things like that uh, it can be especially dicey in fog of war maps which I don't think we've seen any of the, I don't bleh, let me try that again I don't think we've seen any of those yet but we're going to see some later. And uh, in those cases, you have to be careful because suddenly you'll just have tons of monster units kind of coming out of the fog and wreaking havoc on your uh, crew. Generally, though, these guys aren't so bad. Really, the biggest thing is I am going to have to be careful with Ross um, because, as we're going to see in a second, there are some, well, maybe you can kind of see them, the floating eye units are the sort of ranged monster unit uh, generally. I mean, I think there will be skeletons with, that'll have uh, bows, but mostly you're going to have to worry about those floating eyes. And if I get Ross too close to those, even if they can't get to him in melee, they might still be able to attack him at range, and that can be dangerous. Ross, um, you know, even up against guys like this, you got to be careful with him at this stage. He's going to develop into a powerhouse, but it ain't happening yet. Ah, now we get to see what this guy can do. Artur. He is our first, uh... He's our first magic user overall, and he's also our first, um... Light magic caster. Light magic is strong against monsters in the same way that bows are strong against, uh, flying units. It just has kind of a natural advantage. So this is the first time, this is exciting, that we get to pick our units. Uh, you cannot pick more than a certain number, in this case nine. I'm going to immediately... Oh, that's weird. Can't use the D-pad all of a sudden. Well, I'll use the analog stick. I'm going to immediately get rid of Seth. And... I'm going to take out Garcia and put Coleman Namie in there. Um... Because I'm not... Not a huge fan of his. Um, I'll probably level him up later, but if I do, it'll be in uh, some of the optional places that are that are nice places to grind. Uh, there's, um, in kind of really a first for the series, to be perfectly frank. Um, let's see over this file. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities to kind of make up for lost XP. Like in the previous Fire Emblem games... Um, <clears throat> you would just move kind of linearly from battle to battle to battle and if some of your units fell behind, well, tough luck. It's going to be really hard to get them up to, uh, up to snuff. Here, um, you can fight in lots of optional battles that give you the chance to kind of work out the kinks of your team. Which is nice. Hmm, um, yeah, let's do that. Other than that, we're looking pretty good here. Let me go ahead and get started. I said we're gonna go... There we go. 
I had uh, start and select bound to the reverse of what I thought I had them bound to. So yes, one of the first things we're going to want to do here is we are going to want to rescue the girl in this village. And we're going to want to do that by moving Vanessa down here really fast. We're going to give her the slim lance so she can double attack. Uh, hopefully against most of the things she's going to come up with. You guys don't have bows, right? That would just be terrible. Now you do not have bows. No bows. Mm, nope, we're looking good. Uh, otherwise... Let's just... Ooh, wait, actually. Let's have somebody visit that village. Let's have Franz do it. And, uh... You can use your lance because... There are no axemen on this map. It'll be good to get... Some of that in there. Oh, yeah, this guy is, uh... Telling us something that we can do on this map. It's gonna be pretty handy. These snags, which I guess are sort of busted up old trees, um, you can use them. Uh, you can, if you damage them enough in the same way that you damage walls, they'll fall over like this onto this tile and uh, make a bridge that you can cross. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that, actually, because um, the only reason to come over here is to recruit, I think her name is Loot. Anyway, we'll find out. And uh, Vanessa's doing that for me. So otherwise, I'm my plan is to just basically move everyone to some nice spots for cover and then let the monsters come to us. Um, that way I will get plenty of sort of reaction time for if I need to heal or uh, anything like that. Leave Mulder in the back there. Ah, I finally get to move all my units without having to Shuffle Seth around, even though he's not doing anything. Ha! Yes. So that zombie is actually so weak that uh, he can't even do anything to Gilliam there. Gilliam's got lots of defense. Now, he could do something if he hits, but he's not going to. Good. Good. No, he's not going to. There goes Colm. Colm will hopefully be another one of those critical hit monsters later on in the campaign. Or at least that's the goal, um, you know, with the assistance of some sort of crit-boosting weapons. Mm, good, good. Now hopefully our tour will get to double attack, yes. Uh, monsters are generally, unless they're really fast, like we're gonna run into some sort of, uh, like, zombie dogs basically later on, they're pretty fast. But uh, other than that, they're generally slow enough that most of your units should be double attacking it double attacking against them, with the obvious exception of stuff like Gilliam. Wow, that's a lot of extra zombies. I feel like I should have known that was coming, but uh, I really was not expecting that. Let's, um... Can you move to another spot? Yes. I'm gonna move her over here and then move Franz into cover. What are you, what are you packing? Can you steal sword double attack? Yes. Making sure he didn't have a lance, that would have been bad. So, yes. We're gonna move Erica into cover over here. And then, uh. Move Naomi over here. Move Franz. You can't move there because you're terrible. I should have paid attention to that. Well. Hmm. See, after all the talk about, you know, you don't want to position your units wrong and underestimate the zombies, I'm thinking about moving him out here just so that someone other than Colm and Erica will be targeted. But... Um, let's not do that. Let's move him over here. I'll have him attack this eye so that Artur isn't dealing with too much stuff on his own. It's probably going to hit me. But a half chance to hit... Oh, nope, never mind. Good. I've often wondered whether the hit chances in Fire Emblem are, like, artificially inflated by the AI, if that makes sense. Like, if he really has a 44% chance to hit. Because a lot of the time, you'll be astounded at how accurate enemies with hit chances in the 30s and the 40s can really be. And, uh, similarly impressed with how 
if your hit chance is somewhere in the 70s, it means you're probably not going to hit. Um, I don't know whether or not that's true. It's pure, you know, layman speculation. Yeah, Gilliam leveled up. Get some. But, uh, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is the random <clears throat> the random number generator in this game can be kind of frustrating at times, but uh, that's okay. It's part of the part of the I don't know if it's part of the appeal, but it's certainly part of the the uh, franchise's history. All these guys are gonna be in melee. Uh, let's keep him with his hatchet because that'll keep his avoidance up. And let's move calm. Do we really want to do that? I really want to leave Eric out here by herself. Yeah, let's move Colm back here. And then... Oh boy, this could get kind of dicey. Here's our new recruit. Loot. Hey, I was right. I'm going to immediately move her into the trees and then hope she doesn't get hit a bunch. And I'm going to move Vanessa. Where am I going to move Vanessa? I wish I could see how much defense this town gave me, if any at all. Um, I could move her up into the mountains, but I kind of don't want to leave loot by herself. So yeah, I'll, I'll have her wait right here. The village gives no defense at all. Well, you know what? That's fine. Hopefully she'll be dodgy enough to kind of outlast what's going on from the enemy side. In the meantime, loot should get some avoidance from that. Yeah, so at worst, she's going to get hit by him, and maybe him, we'll see. And then I didn't need to move anyone else, right? No. Let's end it there and see what happens. Now you're going to miss. Good. Didn't actually know that, of course. I'm just, you know, positive thinking. Okay, good. We're doing pretty well on the evasion front here this time. Wow, I'm impressed. Figured in difficult mode it'd be a little less, uh, this tactic of kind of baiting the enemy in, I figured it'd be a little less viable, but it seems to be working okay so far. Please don't attack Ross. Okay, good. Or, you know, glad I didn't hit him. Hoping for a double attack. Oh well. Right, here we go. Yeah, they are attacking her twice in the same turn. Please don't kill her. Oh yeah, by the way, she uh, she uses, I think it's called anima magic. Anyway, basically elemental magic. Most of the spells you use as loot and other mages similar to her are going to be um, fire magic. But they do get, like, frost and wind and, you know, other other kinds of spells later on. Um, they all count as anima spells, though, for the purpose of, like, the magic weapon triangle. Uh, I don't think it makes a difference in terms of that. There are some incredibly cool magic, uh, like, spell animations later on. Just awesome stuff. Who? Oh, right! These guys! I forgot about these guys. These guys are great. Lady Larachelle. You can recruit all three of these people, although I don't think at the same time. Um, and they're pretty fantastic. Larachelle herself is a mounted healer. Lots of movement uh, on them, which is certainly nice. <clears throat> and then her two companions. One of them is the sort of master thief. I still don't know what that class is called, but anyway. Um, they get to... Uh, they're the ones who I was saying in the last episode they can pick locks without needing to actually use lock picks. Uh, which is very nice. Ooh, a crit from Colm. Very cool. And the other dude, I believe, is a berserker. And that's... Uh, that's what Garcia is gonna look like, assuming I can get him some levels. Can I kill him? What about this? 
In neither case can I kill him. Oh, right, you were in trouble. Do you have any vulneraries? Oh, whew. Uh, no, you don't. Okay. Let's try this plan, which might not work. I mean, I know I'm going to kill this guy pretty fast, but... The goal here is just to make this a really safe space by eliminating as many enemies on this side as possible. And then once I've done that, I'll move Franz over and have Mulder give him a little uh, checkup. was not even paying attention to how much damage I'd wind up doing. Oh, now he's going to take some damage. I guess the reason that he was taking zero was that he was in the woods, which I believe gives you some extra defense. And then, let's see. Can you kill him? Oh, really close, but the answer is no. Alright, can you move into those bushes? No, but you can. And, uh, you... Did you take any damage? Oh, good. So you really need... You really need that... that deep cover. Let's stick you over here, move you down to heal. Yeah, friends. That's better. That'll make us breathe a little easier. Oh, full health. Good. And then, can you iron axe him to death? Question of the hour. Possibly. Hopefully. We'll see. Come on, Ross. Yes. There's a good lad. Ooh, nice. Lots of experience. <laughs> and then I don't think you're gonna... No, I'm not gonna be able to get over there. But Erica is. Can Erica do this? Uh, the answer to that would be no. So... Where can you move? Let's move her here, so that, and let's give her the rapier. Good, she already has it. Just to defend our healer. And then you can stay right where you are. You got any vulneraries, vulneraries on you? Why, yes you do. How handy is that? You go ahead and use one of those. Get yourself back up to full. And then, uh, can you kill one of these these guys for me? Hmm. Ooh. Yes, you can. Unfailingly. It'll take a little damage, but not too much. Well, he'll maybe take a little damage. No, he'll definitely take a little damage. But that's fine, because now he's dead. That's, uh, one threat out of the way. I think that zombie's gonna be able to hit her, but I'm not too worried about that. Yep. Wow. Really decent chance to hit, all things considered. Probably because I'm using an iron lance. That was the only way to kill that guy. Now hopefully the way he moved will block Vanessa off from further attacks. No, it won't. Well then hopefully that guy, the uh, other guy down there, will go for loot. That's gonna deal a lot of damage. Ouch. Ooh, this might have been a mistake. We'll see. If that eye attacks Artur and does uh, more than nine damage, we are kind of, kind of fadoodled. All right, good. At least, at least we're clearer, clearer down there. Oh, son of a bitch! That was close. And now he's going to die. I'm nervous about that eye, though, I gotta tell ya. Not too thrilled about that. Oh boy. Oh, never mind. You suck. I mean, you know, you still hit me, but you still suck. Alright, good. So that means that I'm gonna be able to get Arthur over to Mulder for some healing, or just have him use another Vulnerary. Uh, and then we'll continue our assault after that. First, though, we gotta take care of this guy. What's this guy doing? He's got too much health. Entirely too much. Can both of you guys... No. No, you can't.
Let's have you... Let's have you soften them up. And then we'll have Ross finish them off. Hopefully. Wow. Still the potential to do a lot of damage there, even though he's in the woods. Well, whatever. Alright, good. This ought to do the trick. Good. See Frost levels again. No, sadly. But uh, he does get plenty OXP. Which I am always in favor of. Um, yeah, let's just move him back here and we'll have Mulder step in uh, right here. There we go. A little bit of XP for that. Now, we gotta take care of these sons of bitches. First of all, well, no. Um, well, maybe. I could just march her in here and she'd be able to kill him in one go. Uh, but I wanna clear out these guys first. Now, you've been pretty dodgy so far. Don't fail me now. I'm really sticking your neck out. Good. Oh, wow. Stacking a lance user. I should have checked uh, to see whether he had a sword or a lance, but whatever. We made it out okay. Uh, Franz. Franz, how you doing? How you doing HP-wise? Uh, just fine. And this should do it. It's one. Now miss. Good. And here comes two. Right in the head. I love the way that animation connects to the uh, zombies. Or revenants, I guess. Such a nice little animation. Now you... Are you full health? Yes. You're gonna move right in here. Take out this evil eye. Awesome. Level up. Yes, double awesome. Get some stats. Good. I don't know if the stats you gain while leveling up are completely random as far as what they're assigned to and whatever, but I know that uh, there are plenty of videos on YouTube of people getting their characters up to level 20, which is the max level, only to discover that they are receiving no stats for getting to that point. Uh, so statless level ups are possible and terrible. Um, hopefully that won't happen to me too much. You know, actually, we got two casters down here. Let's let's give them a little melee cover. Right, you guys were not doing so hot. Uh, who do I want to finish this guy off with? Let's see here. There's like a chance of missing. I can do it with the Slim Lance. I have a 100% chance of hitting. But I want her to be able to heal herself. So I'm going to move her up here. Use a Vulnerary. And then have loot emerge from her woodsy hiding place to uh, kill this revenant. Hopefully. Oh yeah, definitely. There we go. Good. Alright. Hopefully you're gonna dodge that. Please? Good. And hopefully you're going to dodge that too. Awesome! Alright! Wow, the, uh, not to, you know, jinx myself there, but uh, it looks like the hit-miss mechanics are, are working pretty well so far. Let's have our tour do what he does best. Well, he's not going to kill him. Whatever, I'll have Colm finish him off. Got him. Double got him. Yeah, see, like there, you just get plus one skill. Um, whereas I'm sure other times I've played this game, he's gotten more stats than that. Or I could move Naomi back. Do I really want to move her into a situation where the enemy's going to have that many bushes to hide behind? Do I have much of a choice? if I want to do this. Could kill him first. How much... What do you got going on? Too much. Yes! Ah, awesome crit on Francis part. I love that animation. The uh, crit animations 
also get really cool, like the spell animations. Uh, they definitely get extremely cool later on. Alright, good. Now you're gonna kill him. Ooh, she's critting too. This game is so styling. It's great. Okay. We are nearly done with this map. Which is good. I'm not gonna move Loot and Vanessa just yet. I'm gonna keep them right here until we can move everyone else down. Um... Because otherwise, they might get overwhelmed. I could move her into these bushes. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to her yet. I just don't want to tempt them over here when I've got this whole force coming in this way. Yeah, I'll just move her back here. And then if I really want to bring loot, <coughs> excuse me, bring loot in for the end, I can rescue her. I never do that. Speaking of rescuing, I wish I had someone to bring uh, Gilliam's lard ass over there more quickly. Do anyone desperate need a healing? 19, 16, 23. Uh, let's do Gilliam. Mostly just for the experience. I'm not too worried about him getting beaten to death by zombies in this chapter because uh, his defense is so great. Move Erica up a little closer. Move Colm up a little closer. Uh, huh. well, no, that's fine. My, uh, tactics ogre sense was kicking in. That is a game that I've been obsessed with since it came out, basically. No shame. And, uh, you generally don't want to stick your units too close to one another in that game because, um, a lot of the spells, especially the really annoying status effect spells in that game, are like area of effect like they don't hit just hit a single square they hit all the squares around them so I always try to end my turns with my units relatively spaced out except for some special circumstances but anyway I'm getting off track here let's talk about the game I'm actually playing in this game it is perfectly acceptable and oftentimes even beneficial to have uh, units standing next to other units. Now what do I want to do here? Uh, eventually I'm going to move Franz up and uh, have him kind of tank while I bring everyone else in, but for now... Oh, whatever. I can move everyone closer. I got lots of space. I mean, I don't want to be overly cautious. Because, uh, you know, I'd like to end this mission sometime this century. Maybe drawing some of these guys away would actually be good. I'll move Vanessa out here. But loot, you're staying where you are. And they didn't even move. I didn't have to worry about any of that stuff. So, are you... well, you're almost on full health. Let's just top you off for the sake of topping you off. And then we're going to move him in there to uh, deal with the, the zombies and stuff. And, you know, other people too. Uh, I just want to make sure that he's able to get to cover. There we go. Move him to that spot. We'll move Gilliam up here to block this little bottleneck. Keep our other guys back here. Move you up here and... Oh, do I really want to do that? Can she? Yeah, no, I'm, not. I'm gonna keep her where she is. Here we go. Come on, miss. You son of a bitch. Well, at least he's gonna die this turn. That's good. Boy. If anyone hits level 10 quickest, it's probably gonna be Franz. I do rely on him a lot. He's a pretty reliable guy. <laughs> and the eye's gonna move in probably. Yep. That shouldn't be... Ooh, that, that would be kind of bad if it hits. But it doesn't. 
based on the animation, I'm not super sure how he dodged that, but uh, whatever, I'll take take him at their word. How much damage can you do? Not enough. Uh, mm, I wonder if this is the kind of dude that's actually going to move forward. Well, in any case, he wouldn't be able to hit anyone. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and get some Vanessa. Some Vanessa. <laughs> let's get some Vanessa. No, let's get Vanessa some experience. Yeah, I figured that was gonna hit. And then like Artur or maybe Naomi can finish him off if she can reach. She cannot reach. Artur can reach is fine though. Let's have him do that. There we go. Now let's see, who is likely to get attacked by this zombie? Nobody. Good. Uh, let me take a look at, yeah. Let's move you over here, and I have you. You. Come in this way, you can come in. You can follow. And you here. Let's see if we can unlock more social links or whatever. Move you next to him. And then you guys can stay in the back. Now let's see what happens. Nothing. Alright. Let's get the girl healed up. Hmm. I may actually do that like selective animation turning off thing, just turn off the healing animation. Uh, for Molder and other healers, because when you heal on the map, it shows a similar effect. Uh, it just goes by a bit faster. Hmm. I'm just gonna. I just want to check and see how much damage he would do if he attacked her. Okay, ten. Uh, so I'm gonna move a couple people up to kind of tempt him into attacking whoever he wants, and I'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Now you can't get, no. Move you a little closer. Can you get in there? No. Didn't think so, your movement's pretty slow. I'll move him here so that he can rescue Vanessa. If uh, things get a little too dicey, we'll move Erica in and give her the steel sword, because the rapiers are on a little low, actually. That's not good. The rapier is great, but uh, like I said, it's... Uh, there may only be one or maybe two of them in the entire game. We don't want to uh, not have it when we need it. Is that saying it's better to need and not have? Or am I making that up? Here we go. Miss. Ooh, man. You're making me mad. Yes. Look at that damage. Love crits in this game in particular. Normally, like, in games where people get all crit-obsessed, like, generally, I would rather do more consistently good damage than have to worry about, am I gonna crit, am I not gonna crit, but in this case, it just does so much more that uh, it's totally worth specking for crits. And let's have loot finish the job. All right, cool. It's the end of the next mission, the Sacred Stones Saga. Uh, of course, we do have some cutscenes we're going to have to sit through before we get to move on. That's okay, though. We have indeed killed all the monsters. Boy, that's heavy. Uh, sadly, Erica, they are pretty real. Actually, um, later on... Because, you know, there's uh, there's light magic, anima magic, and then dark magic. And we are going to be able to recruit some dark magicians. And uh, even transform some of our other magicians into dark magicians uh, when they... I know the term isn't evolve, when they, like, rank up or whatever. And uh, one kind in particular is actually able to summon undead minions. Like, you can summon one zombie that you can then control. Cool, yes, but not really worth it, um, I've found. Like, you have to waste a turn summoning it, and then it's probably going to die in that same turn. When you attack it, 
uh, or when you attack other things with it, you're not getting any experience. You know, it's just not really... I'd rather just have a really powerful dark mage. Ah oh, yes, now now Lady Lara Shell and friends get here a little too late. They gone, girl. We are all out of monsters here. <laughs> I like Lara Shell a lot. She's a she's an amusing character. Her and her whole this like dwarf guy. I mean, he's not actually a dwarf. He's huge, but like. You know, obviously that's the idea. Good question. Yeah, we actually find out that she's uh, kind of important later on, but... Uh... <laughs> You'll see. We'll, we'll see together, even though I've seen before. Dolza, that's what it was. I like Dolza a lot. Just so enthusiastic about everything Lara Shell wants him to do. Alright, so... There we go, chapter 5. Awesome. So, next time on Dragon... But no, next time on uh, Let's Play Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, we're going to move on to Seraphue and find out what's going on there. For now, this has been Rechief with Let's Play Fire Emblem, The Sacred Stones, and I will see you guys next time.